Do you want to know what the hype is about this tax surplus and tax overages that everybody's talking about, but nobody really understands what it truly is? Well, in this video right here, I'm going to go over tax surplus 101 and explain to you exactly how people are making money in this amazing industry right here. My name is Joe Green. I am a business coach. I help people start and scale their tax overages business. I do it all for free right here on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you drop me a comment if you have any questions. So let's go ahead and talk about how this process gets started. Well, I drew a very simple diagram right here. It all starts with the homeowner, okay? And sometimes these homeowners are people who are elderly, they're seniors who have paid off their homes and just living their best life. Sometimes these homeowners are children of those in seniors. So after they pass away, they inherit these homes. So whatever the case may be, the homeowner starts the process. Now, at some point, these homeowners, they're unable to pay their taxes. So they go delinquent for a few years, maybe two, three, up to five years delinquent before the county that they live in decides that they want to foreclose on their homes. Now, you all need to understand the county does everything that they can to help the homeowner keep their home. But again, like I said in the beginning, sometimes the homeowners are deceased. Sometimes children inherit their homes. They live in a whole other state and they're not even thinking about the taxes or their home because they feel like their parents paid it off. And again, it's very understandable as to why someone who inherits a home that you never asked for, you know, probably misses out on paying these taxes. Maybe they have some financial burdens or whatever is going on in their life. So it goes to foreclosure. And then some of the main subcategories that I've experienced are people go through divorce and sometimes they just let the house go. Sometimes there's a death in the family or they have financial problems. So now from foreclosure, it goes to what's called an auction. So they send it off to the auction and you get a bunch of home investors like myself. We bid on these homes because we're getting it for like pennies on the dollar. So these uh, auctioneers right here, they sell the homes off to the highest bidder, but the county only cares about, you know, like, hey, what is owed to the county? And once they figure out, okay, like how much money is owed to the county, any dollar amount above that money is owed to this homeowner, the previous homeowner. And they have up to one year to claim money on that property. If that homeowner does not claim the bidding money that's collected, then guess who gets to keep it? Either the county or the state gets to keep those funds and they can apply it to whatever piggy bank that they want to. And that homeowner misses out. So now someone like yourself, who is running a business as a, as a unclaimed funds investigator, you're the person who goes through public record and these are all free files and you find out who's owed money and you make contact with the previous homeowner and you explain to them what happened to the home. You give them the details on how much is approximately owed. And I use the word approximately because sometimes when homes go on foreclosure, sometimes there's liens, right? You have maybe uh, construction workers or whoever, like a plumber or somebody was owed money or maybe, you know, whoever it could be, you know, someone is owed money and they get to put a lien on their home. And that's a whole nother topic, but they get a certain period of time where they can claim that lien. And if they don't, then all the money goes to the previous homeowner. Now I teach all the ins and outs and I get really deep because in my course, because I created one to help people better understand in a simplified terms. This can get very convoluted and can get very complicated. And a lot of times, me, like yourself, I watch YouTube videos and some people just get so deep in the weeds, it's downright confusing. But for me, my teaching style is let me simplify the process because all in all, most cases are very simple. You got a homeowner, it goes to foreclosure, it gets auctioned off, there's a surplus of money, and then you, as an investigator, you make contact with that homeowner, and then you come to an agreement. Now, getting the homeowner to sign an agreement form is the next hurdle for you as an investigator. And all you got to do is follow a tried and proven script that will help you get them to say, yes, I want you to be the person to help claim my funds. Now, can the homeowner do it themselves? Of course they can do it themselves. But let me ask you a question. Can't most people do their own taxes? You can. There's no law that said you can't do your own taxes. Most people don't want to do their taxes because they don't want to make a mistake and find themselves going through a long, lengthy, you know, like anxiety driven process. So they hire professionals to do it for them. Well, you're the professional. You're the person that's going to help that homeowner get the money that's owed to them. They're going to be forever grateful and they're going to be gladly pay you a percentage that is from this bid. They're going to pay you a percentage for helping with the process. More than likely, you're going to claim anywhere from 10 to 30% of whatever's owed on a home. 
Now, there's some states that might allow you to claim more, but I would never recommend asking for more than 30% of what's owed to the homeowner. Let them get their money and run with it. But you as an investigator, you get to pick and choose who you want to help. You don't have to help the people with the low-hanging fruit that's not paying a lot of money. You can help people that's going to pay you out $10,000, $50,000, $100,000 and more. Yes, I said $100,000 and more. There are some people who's owed a lot of money and they have no clue that money's out there waiting for them. But they have a time period. And if they don't make it within that time period, they can miss out on a lot of money. So that right there, my friends, is Tax Surplus 101. I hope that this makes a lot of sense to you. If you feel like you want to learn more, I made a free masterclass. You can click in the link in my description, watch the masterclass. And if you want to start your business and do it the right way, you can always pick up my course. And it learn it teaches you everything from starting your business to the right way to actually closing deals with your clients in tax surplus and state funds. Anyways, guys, I'm signing off. Drop me a comment if you guys have any questions about the state that you live in.